Hey there everyone, it's Craig Miller and today we're talking about getting an installment loan in the state of South Carolina. Now if you're looking for an installment loan there's a few things that you should know and one is that these are usually not the best uh, choice when it comes to getting a loan for uh, as far as interest rates as many of these loans uh, have interest rates that exceed triple digits and are often 400, 450% APR. So um, if you have other options, you may want to look at those first. But if uh, your options are kind of limited, then these uh, installment loans can really help out someone who is in need and uh, might need a little extra cash for... Um, special events that happen in one's lives such as uh, you know loss of an income or perhaps an unexpected expense um, whatever the reason may be uh, installment loans are, are a good decision uh, if used properly and uh, during the proper times and not for something such as uh, a want uh, talking about mostly or only needs here so that being said when it comes to getting an installment loan in South Carolina there's several different options and um, first thing that you really want to do is just go to your uh, search engine you can use any search engine really and um, you want to search for South Carolina installment loans and whenever you do this you will see uh, a whole lot of uh, listings here and you can kind of go through them you can look at the advertisements that are on the uh, edges right over here or perhaps you can uh, just look in the search results let's look at this AmeriCash loans let's see what uh, what they're looking to get for a loan. Now today we're looking for a small loan. We only want to um, get about $500 or so because you know, say we need a little extra money to pay the rent this month. Um, this right here says that um, this is available in Illinois so that's not going to work in the case of South Carolina. So let's try um, let's try another lender here. How about Credit Central? Now this is a pretty uh, interesting website here. It has the guy, big fat cat, sitting up here with a fistful of cash, just uh, ready to hand it over to you, and. You got some more money right here and money flowing out of the computer screen so it's pretty clear that the uh, the message here is that they're ready to loan some money and so it says here that they have over 100 loan offices in four states of the southeast and they operate in the states of Alabama Georgia South Carolina Tennessee so you want to click on the South Carolina link now this right here says that they have a loan range from three hundred and thirty dollars to fourteen hundred dollars which certainly fits our uh, range that we're looking at here um, of five hundred dollars and you can get your loan from anywhere from seven to twelve months and they have payments between sixty eight dollars a month and a hundred and eighty two so sixty eight dollars a month might be for you know a small loan just a couple hundred dollars for a couple of months maybe and the 182 maybe for the larger amount of 1400 for up to a year so um, looks like this service they really don't clearly spell out what their interest rates are but I'm sure you would get that information um, whenever you go to apply and uh, have your loan accepted now there's uh, two ways that you can apply for this loan and um, one way is to apply online and the other way is to um, click on 
uh, whatever town you're in right here and you get directions and a phone number. Let's say you're in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, in Greenville, South Carolina, they got a location on Lawrence Road. The address is 1214 Lawrence Road. And they also have their phone number right here. So you can give them a call. It looks like they're open Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. So open a little bit later on Friday. And then uh, if you want to come in on Saturday, it's by appointment only. One of the um, requirements as far as this lender is that you have to live within 25 miles of their office. So if you don't live within 25 miles of this office in Greenville, then you're likely not going to qualify for the loan. Um... Let's see what else we have here. Let's say you want to apply, uh, instead of applying in person, you just want to do it on the internet because you really don't have time to, to go down and, and, and do this online. I mean, do this uh, in person. So just go to their uh, link right here. It says apply for a loan online. All you have to do is just click on that, and it looks like it might be pulling it up in a another window here. Okay. So, uh... Just some basic information here. Um, you got to choose your office first thing, whatever uh, county you're in or whatever town's nearby. Choose a type of loan, whether it's an individual loan or a joint loan. They want your email address, um, method of contact, whether you want to email in person or uh, via your phone. Basic information, first name, last name, your address, city, state zip, um, where you lived before, what you're using the loan for, how much you want, what your monthly income is, who you're employed by, how much your rent is, or mortgage payment, and uh, what your balance, mortgage balance may be, what your home's worth, want some information about your value, uh, value of your vehicle. Um, so, basically, you want to get an idea of what your financial situation is and then uh, use this in order to help determine your interest rate and the amount uh, that they're willing to loan you. Um, so that's basically it. When you're done, you put in the validation code, which is down here in the bottom. And this ensures that this is, in fact, a person applying for the loan and not some type of... Um, computer uh, robot or something something or another and that's all there is to it within a day or so you'll get a phone call back from uh, Credit Central and they will tell you whether or not you're approved for the loan and give you further instructions as far as uh, funding the loan um, typically you can have it directly deposited or uh, you can pick up cash in person or they can give you a check so that's normally how it works but uh, you want to check with them and make sure that uh, this option is available in your particular instance or your particular circumstance um, one important thing here to notice is it has the most liberal liberal credit policies in the loan market so uh, seems like it's not too difficult to get a loan from these people so uh, yeah check it out look on uh, check out your search engine, look at everything else that's available, and when you find um, a loan with the best uh, interest rate and terms, then apply for it and see what happens. Good luck.